Jack, tell me about the season from your perspective. How have things gone for you personally? Um, personally, I think, you know, it's, it's, I'm starting to get uh, more comfortable, you know, just playing and stuff. I think that, you know, it's gone, it's got, had its ups and downs, you know, personally. I think, you know, I think as a, as a defense, we've been playing well. And I think, you know, one of the words that uh, Coach Johnson has been stressing just for the defensive line is just consistency, you know, trying to get everybody on the same level. And I think for me, you know, personally, the biggest goal is just to play at top speed, you know, play at a fast pace throughout the whole game and, you know, keep up the intensity. What do you think it's been about this defense that's been different this year than years past? You've been around here for a while. Why is this defense playing so well? Um, I just think, you know, we have a lot of playmakers on the defense, you know, right now. And I think that we, you know, we're starting to come together a lot more. I think, you know, we have a little bit more experience than we did last year. People know what it's like playing. And I think, you know, when we come together and we all play, you know, full speed and full intensity, then we could be really effective. Talk about your fellow defensive end, Sean Stanley. He's had a, a good year. What is he doing well out there? Um, he just really, you know, stepped up. You know, he really... He's taking it to another level, you know, he's he's had experience now, you know, he's been playing since a freshman. So I think now, you know, his experience is just paying off for him, you know, he knows what it's like to play in the Big Ten, to play at this level, and I think that, you know, he's having some success playing like this, and, you know, he, he, he can play fast now and help out the defense in a big way. You touched on consistency. Have you been happy with the amount of pass rush you've been able to get this year so far? Um, I think, you know, there's, there's no doubt, you know, we've been talking about it and we've been really focusing on it this week just because of, you know, we want to get to reach a certain number of, you know, sacks and just, I mean, quarterback pressure, you know, we want to get to that point where we, we want to be top in the nation. And um, I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's been tough because, you know, the ball's been coming out fast, you know, teams have been, you know, scouting us differently. And I think that uh, we, we, we definitely want to focus on that more this week get into the quarterback more, and I think that um, that's one area that we've been lacking so far just because we've definitely been trying and we have been, you know, putting in the effort, but it's just been hard, so we need to come up with different ways to get to the quarterback. Talk about Purdue and what you've seen from their film and in, in, in their offense. Um, I mean, they run, they, they, they uh, it's kind of tricky, you know, they do have a tricky offense because... They do like run a lot of the different plays out of the same formations, you know, and they do like to run the boot a lot. So, you know, I, especially this week for the defensive ends, it's going to be a challenge because we have to read the formation and react to it quicker. So, you know, it's going to be a, a tough job on the defensive end this game. And, you know, some of the responsibilities that we're playing this game have changed, you know, within, the, within our, our defense. So we're going to change some responsibilities up this week and, you know, see how it works out. When you play a team that likes to do a lot of boots, do you have to stay disciplined as a defensive end? Is that yeah. a big part of it? Yeah, and that's one of the things that's just going to be uh, you know, tough because you, know, you have to make a read and then you have to read your key and then you have to react right now. You know, and that's one of the things which is you know, it's going to challenge us this week. We've been practicing so far. You know, we're going to you know, practice again today. And you know, we really have to study that on video on tape because you know, it's, it's not that easy to pick up. You have six more games the rest of this year. How good do you think the, this team can finish? Oh, I think you know we can win out if we if we play the right defense. You know, we play if we keep our heads on our shoulders and we can, you know, get get together and you know really pull through as a as a team in general. Then I don't. There's no doubt that we can win out this the rest of the season. What are some big keys for you this week leading up to Purdue? You touched on a couple of things, but as a defense uh, overall, what are some things that you need to do well on Saturday? But you know we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to stop the run like we have been doing. That's the main key, I guess, coming from a defensive line perspective. We're gonna have to stop the run. You know, there's no not many teams around us that much since Alabama, and so we're really gonna stop the run and then just get into the quarterback. You know, and then making some game changing plays. You know, cause some interceptions, some fumbles, and really get the ball in the offense hands so they can put the ball in the hands. So. You're at home again this week, second straight week. Talk about what the crowd has been like these past couple of weeks. Oh, the crowd has been great. You know, they've been there. And, uh, I, you know, I always receive a lot of support from the crowd. And, you know, I love to see them in it because, you know, that, that lifts up the players. That lifts up their emotions. Like, it lifts up our emotions when we're on the field. And then, you know, we just play off the crowd. And, you know, if the crowd's dead, then we might be dead, you know. So, but the crowd are never dead. So, you know, we always come ready to play. And, you know, we're we going to be ready to play this week for homecoming.
For inside access throughout the fall on all the Penn State road trips, be sure to follow me on Twitter at GoPSUTony.